Tonight, a story about a North Dakota woman's unusual path to success. It started in her own law office as a dream. But life spiraled out of control and soon turned into a medical crisis involving a rare diagnosis. Now, a book and a podcast and a way to help others. That story tonight from WDAY News reporter Kevin Wallavand. This is it. It was my dream since fifth grade. I read my first John Grisham book in fifth grade and I was hooked. That was it. I was only going to be a lawyer. When Jackie Stebbins got her law degree from UND in 2009, she had the legal world's dream job. So I was really like at the peak of my career. Living in Bismarck, married with children, everything seemed perfect. So to achieve that dream and live it, it was like, this is great. But then I became an insomniac. And anyone who suffered with insomnia knows that can turn a good, good person bad, like, quite quickly. And it got worse. So I thought it was, you know, a mental breakdown. I thought it was burnout. Unfortunately, people around me warned me that maybe I was working too hard. Was Jackie overworked? Was she pushing herself too much? And I left on a Tuesday, and unbeknownst to me, that was my last day in my beloved career. It was my last day at my law firm. And, you know, quite quickly after that, I almost died. Those around her sure thought Jackie was having a mental break. But then... I lost my voice, and then the seizures started. And the grand finale of this most terrible, devastating disease was a grand mal seizure in bed in my own home where it was so violent, it broke and dislocated my shoulder, and it broke my back in three places. Seizures, the psychosis, hallucinations, paranoia... Soon the medical diagnosis, a brain injury, autoimmune encephalitis, rare and horrible. It was my own immune system ramping up and for obviously no good reason attacking my otherwise healthy brain. But within days of treatment in the hospital, a quick turnaround. That's when I was like, whoa, kind of like I'm back. And now as the brain healing continues, Jackie has written a book called Unwillable and she hosts a podcast called Brain Fever. And, okay, that's not comforting, so no. I have a sickness, illness, disease of my brain, and yes. that's what we're going to talk about. With listeners around the globe. Which I thought, like, six people would listen to, not people in 800 cities and 41 countries around the world. Jackie says recovery is a slow process, but she feels like her old self again. But she's changed. I wanted to be the one that they said... Man, what happened to Jackie was awful, but, like, look at her now. Look what she's doing. Kevin Wallivan, WDAY News. And in addition to her book and podcast, Brain Fever, Jackie speaks to groups all over the region, telling them the story of her making brain lemonade from brain <laughs> lemons. An inspiring speech, I'm sure. She is that person now. Yes. Look at her go now, yes. right?